Hi, today we will study collocations and it is a topic under NLP only. So, what are collocations? So, collocations are pair of words occurring together many times in a document. Or you can say collocations are phrases that acts like a single word. For example, city scan. We always use these two words together. Ultraviolet rays. So again, over here, ultraviolet rays. These are two different words, but we are using it together every time. So that simply means phrases that acts like a single word. Right? So now collocations can be categorized into two types. First is bigrams and second one is trigrams. Now what are bigrams? Bigrams simply means group of two words, pair of two words and trigram means combination of three words. So these are the few examples of bigram as I've told you just now only CT scan, ultraviolet rays, hotel staff, right? Clean room, batch mates, Right. Another examples are machine learning and then social media. These are few examples of bigrams means pair of two words which are being used together. And trigram examples of trigrams are Lakme Fashion Week. These are three different words, but we are using it together. Good to know. This is another example of trigram and then great police officer. Again, these are three words, but we are using it together. So these are called trigrams, right? So we are using collocations in NLP. And why we are using it? Because while performing, uh, you know, some predictions or analysis on uh, natural language processing. So we use these topics just to get to know uh, about your data in a good way, right? So let's see the first example. Our first example is bigram means how to create bigram right so for that we are importing a module which is nltk nltk is a module which is being used for all nlp operations so that's why we are importing it and then i have a variable with the name of text this text variable is containing a sentence on which i want to perform this bigram operation and our text is Pfeiffer technologies will provide you a new kind of learning experience so this is a text and on this text, we want to generate bigrams, right? So if you remember from our previous classes, I have already told you whenever we want to perform any natural language, uh, you know, processing task, we need to tokenize the data first of all. So that's why we are using word underscore tokenize over here on text variable, which is containing this line. And this will divide your sentence into a small, small tokens, right? So after converting your sentence into a tokens, we are using NLTK.bigrams. So NLTK module have bigrams. By using this bigram method, we can convert our token variable, token variable where we have tokenized our data, right? So we are implementing this bigram method on are tokens so when you print this output you'll get this type of result right so over here you'll notice that every sentence is in a group of two sentences means every tuple is a group of two um, things see pyford and technologies so how we this is a key and this is treating it as key and value pair so pyford technologies these are two words and um, and this is one bigram and then technologies and will this is a, another bigram will provide is a, another bigram and this is how our whole sentence got divided into uh, a pair of two two words now the thing is whether these bigram all the bigrams are meaningful or not because our main motive is to find out meaningful bigrams but if you check the output over here, some of the bigrams are meaningful, but some of them are meaningless. So if you'll see the very first bigram, Pfeiffer Technologies, this is a meaningful bigram. Technologies will, this is not giving us any information, right? So this is not a meaningful bigram. Will provide, yes, we can use it as a meaningful bigram. Provide you again is a meaningful bigram, 
but you are we are not getting any information from this so this is not a meaningful diagram so in the same way of learning is not a meaningful diagram and learning experience is a meaningful diagram so when we use this nltk dot diagram method so we get a list of diagrams but some of them are meaningful and some of them are meaningless right in the same way let's see how we can create trigrams so this is the example of trigram so over here again you will see i have a variable with the name of text and in this text variable i have a sentence and now i want to perform trigram on it trigram is group of three words right so first of all we are tokenizing our sentence right after tokenizing we are using nltk dot trigram trigram will give you a group of three three words okay and when you see the output this is the output you will get over here you will see that you will get a three words in a group so this is called trigram in the case of trigram also when you will see some of the trigrams are meaningful and some of the trigrams are not meaningful let's see example pfeiffer technologies will this is a meaningful diagram trigram sorry and when you see this trigram you are new this is not a meaningful uh, trigram a new kind yes this is giving us some information that means this is a meaningful trigram new kind of is again a meaningful trigram because we are getting some information from it kind of learning of learning experience provide you a to means these are the different trigrams some are meaningful and some are meaningless now the thing is how to know which particular diagram or trigram is meaningful or meaningless so the solution is for that we calculate the frequency of diagrams and trigrams all right so let's see how to calculate the frequency first of all what is frequency frequency simply means we will see like a, that particular diagram or particular trigram is appearing how many time in a document or a data set right so let's see how to calculate the frequency so before moving to diagram or trigram topic i will tell you how to calculate the frequency of unigrams unigram means simple words simple tokens right so let's see how to calculate the frequency of unigrams so for that we have a variable with the name of word string and over here we have a sentence pfeiffer technologies will provide you a new kind of learning experience learning ai in pfeiffer technologies make you job ready so this is a sentence and we want to perform you know uh, first of all we will divide our data into tokens and then we'll perform uh, we'll calculate the frequency of uh, words okay so uh, let's see what we are doing here so i have a um, uh, variable word list and i'm storing i'm storing this word string in this give me a second word string dot split so if you remember from the previous classes i have told you you can use uh, this word underscore tokenize method to uh, split the sentence into a words or you can even use this split method also so i'm using here split method to getting to dividing a sentence into a tokens okay so i have performed this split method and i've stored the results in word list and when i print that uh, um, uh, variable so this is the output we got so in this output you will see we have different different tokens now now the next thing is okay this is just for a printing purpose this is the actual string which is stored in word string variable so this is the actual string and word list word list is a variable in which we have performed this split operation and this is the final list okay so now let's calculate the frequency for calculating a frequency i have created a new blank list in this list i'll be storing the results frequencies for w in word list so this is the data which is stored in word list for w in word list means w will go in this list one by one for each variable uh, for word and word frequency is this blank list dot append word list dot count means what will happen 
over here we are using count method which will count the frequency of every word in a list and will show you the result like this right so we are getting numbers now this two simply means this pyford word appeared twice in the list and then two simply means technology is appearing twice in the list but the thing is this is you know uh, this is a bit difficult to understand the frequency right so now let's you know clean the results L let us show it more properly in a more good way to understand the topic so what i'm doing here is i'm zipping the word list the list this particular list i'm zipping this list with this list right so this data is in word list variable and this data is present in word frequency list so we are performing zip operation on it and this is how you will get the output so now we can see over here pyford is appearing twice technologies is appearing twice and the frequency of will is one provide is appearing one time only and then u is appearing twice so this is the frequency of each word of our data set right so now let's see how to calculate the frequency of bigrams right so these are the important modules i have imported all the modules and this is a word string variable and this is the data on which i want to apply the operation and i'm dividing the um, this um, sentence into a tokens first of all by using the split method and i'm storing the result in word list now over here i have a variable with the name of bigram underscore fd this is a variable name this can be anything equals to nltk dot frequency list so if you remember from your previous class i have taught you one method which is frequency distribution which will tell you like which particular word is occurring how many time in a document so i'm using that frequency distribution over here because we want to calculate the frequency and we want to calculate the frequency of bigram right which bigram the bigram the data which is uh, you know in this particular list means we want to first of all create the bigram on the data which is present in word list and after creating bigram we want to check the frequency of bigram like the every particular bigram is appearing how many times right so then i'm printing it bigram dot most common most common will give you the most common bigrams uh, of the list so this is the output you will get so pyfer technologies is the very first bigram and this is appearing this particular bigram is appearing two times technologies will is a another bigram this is appearing only one time so if you see the list every other bigram is appearing only one time only pyfor technologies is a bigram which is appearing two times from this we can uh, you know we can easily say that pyfor technologies bigram is being getting used more time so that means this is a important bigram right so as we have used most common method over here what you can use you can print it like this also bigram ft dot most common one so what will happen it will give you the one bigram which is having more frequency so if you write two over here so this will give you the two bigrams so this is the topic of bigram in the same way by just writing trigram over here you can check the frequency of trigrams thank you that's it for today